like sometimes it's hard to keep going it's hard it's just hard it's hard still thank you for all the support thank you really means a lot Dear Brendan, you came a long way. You've been through a lot. People now call you Brandao, but that's not who you really are. You're just that guy that loves to motivate and inspire other people. You failed so many times in your life that you sometimes think of giving up on your dreams. It's so easy to quit because all you have to do is listen to those people saying you're too old, you're delusional, you never sign a pro contract again. But remember where you started. The most powerful motivation is rejection. It's not about proving people wrong that don't even care about you. You have to prove yourself right. So, you know what you gotta do. Because it's not over yet, it's not over yet, it's not over yet. Beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Guys, I know, I know, it's been a very, very long time. And you guys keep messaging me, Brendan, upload on YouTube, Brendan, where are your videos? Brendan, did you disappear? Did you give up? No, I didn't give up and I will never give up. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. For me, it's very important to be honest to myself, to be honest to you and to just be authentic because I think so many people can relate to me, to my story. All I'm trying to do since years is to inspire other people, is to motivate other people that when you believe everything is possible from signing my first pro contract here in England and then moving on to Romania, signing a pro contract, and then moving to Iceland, signing a pro contract, and then going to America, having an MLS trial. It's, it's just been a roller coaster. The last weeks and months have been the most difficult times in my whole career. The last time we saw each other, I traveled to America. I showed up at a club, at a second division team, and I talked to the manager. The manager gave me this, this feeling that he's really interested and I sent him all my details. And some of you guys might think, oh, it's just one rejection. And I've been rejected so many times in my life, as you guys seen. But I feel like this one particular rejection literally killed me. It was so, so tough to recover from it. And why? Simply because I don't want to be seen as someone that changes clubs like underwear. I don't want to be seen as someone that has no commitment. I don't want to be seen as someone that, that takes things for granted. Because what you guys need to remember, football is all about commitment all about sacrifice, it's all about hard work, but the most important thing, it's all about doing what you love to do. And being there, sharing my life with the public, with you guys, it makes things way harder than other people. What I had to listen to was,
That's not easy. That's not easy. Every person is entitled to their own opinion. And what other people think of me doesn't define me because I know who I am. I contacted so many teams, so many agents, literally not one reply. It really like gets you mentally. So if you're not mentally strong, like I get now why so many people give up on their dreams is simply because it's not that they don't want to, it's just they don't get the opportunity. And that's the moment, regardless of all people saying no to you. Always remember, when God says yes, no one can say no. And that's where you sometimes have to just trust in God. Just close your eyes, be relaxed, pray, and just think that, listen, I have enough. Let God deal with my problems because God will sort it out. So I traveled back to England. I just thought to myself, you know what? I don't feel like training. I feel like all my work is worthless, but I just keep training because what I've learned in my career is that opportunities always come when you least expect them. Always remember that. Opportunities always come when you least expect them. So that's why you have to be always ready. Few days ago, received a phone call out of nowhere. If I wanna participate in a showcase match. And that's what I did. We actually played against a proper team that actually plays in the step three of the English Football League system. And I played center back in the light blue shirts here i am on the ball and it's been such a while that i haven't played a game and i have to say i just enjoyed it and sometimes if you don't do something for a long time you just get reminded of why you love it and in this game as you will see like i really tried to express myself i was like a little kid in a candy store and I was just ho so happy to stand on that field and just be able to play because that's my passion. That's what I love. In this game, I really tried to do simple passes to really be composed under pressure and also to find like passes between the lines to break lines. We had a lot of possession and football becomes so easy when your teammates actually make it easy for you so whenever you have the ball no matter which position if your teammates try to get on the ball try to ask for the ball and trying to create space for you it will become so easy and i really enjoyed this game because whenever i was on the ball i had always two to three options to pass it so i really enjoyed this game
As you guys seen, I didn't play too bad. Only God knows what the future holds, but I just wanted to give you a little update of what I've been up to and that the journey has not finished yet. <laughs>